Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Cal, pounding Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. This is a Protean Hulk deck that seeks to power out its commander as quickly as possible, then use it as a sack outlet to trigger Hulk and win the game. Cal's opening hand contains a Taiga, Natural Order, Jeweled Lotus, Groundswell, Centaur Garden, and his London Mulligans are a Forest and a Beseju who endures. Next, we have a Shawnee, Pounding Shorkai, Genesis Engine. This is a control deck that uses its commander to draw its deck through a Dramatic Scepter combo. Ashani's opening hand contains a Savine's Reclamation, Flooded Strand, Marsh Flats, Mana Crypt, Time Spiral, and his London Mulligans are an Out of Time and a Steel Enchantment. After that, we have Drake, Paladin Slicer, Hired Muscle. This is a hybrid Voltron Stacks deck that attempts to slow the game down just enough to beat down its opponents with its hard-hitting commander. Drake's opening hand contains a Mox Diamond, Tangle Wire, Gemstone Caverns, Access Tunnel, Two Mountains, and his London Mulligan is a Helm of the Host. Finally, we have Alex, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Vile Smasher the Fierce. This is a turbo deck that attempts to fire off Ad Nauseam as soon as possible and leverage that advantage into a victory. Alex's opening hand contains a Mana Bolt, Gamble, Bloodstained Mire, Calling the Weak, Xantid Swarm, Time Twister, and his London Mulligan is a Chain of Vapor. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below about your favorite part of the game. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, find us on Facebook, and check us out on TikTok. Without further ado, let's kick off this exotic exhibition of exquisite eldritch eminence. Cal wrote a pretty darn good poem about Rashmi, so he gets to start us off. But Drake has a pregame action, putting Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling a mountain. Cal draws a card for turn and plays a Taiga. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He cracks his Lotus to cast his commander, Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. It enters and Cal creates a Boo, a legendary 1-1 hamster with haste and trample and possibly rabies. Cal activates Minsk's first ability, giving Boo 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Boo. Ashani takes it and Cal passes. Ashani draws and casts out Mana Crypt. He plays a Flooded Strand, then cracks it, paying a life and fetching up a Plains onto the battlefield. He casts Savine's Reclamation, targeting Flooded Strand in his graveyard. He returns Strand to the battlefield, then cracks it, paying a life and fetches up an Island onto the battlefield. Well ramped, Ashani passes to Drake. Drake draws and casts Mox Diamond, discarding a Mountain. He plays an Access Tunnel. He casts Tangle Wire. It enters with four fade counters. With this powerful stacks piece on the board, Drake ends his turn. Alex draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He casts Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Culling the Weak. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Windfall. Alex ships the turn to Cal. During Cal's upkeep, he taps his permanence through Tangle Wire. He draws and plays a Centaur Garden. He taps it to cast Arbor Elf. He activates Minsk and Boo's first ability, giving Boo three more counters. Cal ends his turn. During Ashani's upkeep, Mana Crypt and Tangle Wire trigger. Ashani taps his permanence through Tangle Wire, then loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Skull Clamp. Ashani passes to Drake. During Drake's upkeep, he removes a counter from Tangle Wire, then taps his permanence through Tangle Wire. He draws and plays a Sakenzin, Crucible of Defiance, as his land for turn. He casts a Chalice of the Void, where X equals one. Drake ships the turn to Alex. 
During Alex's upkeep, he taps his permanence through Tangle Wire. He draws, takes no actions, and passes. During Cal's upkeep, he taps his permanence through Tangle Wire. He draws and activates Minsk's first ability, giving Boo three more counters. With a very large hamster waiting in the wings, Cal passes the turn. During Ashani's upkeep, Mana Crypt and Tangle Wire trigger. Ashani taps his permanence through Tangle Wire, then loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Shorkai, Genesis Engine. Ashani ends his turn. During Drake's upkeep, he removes a fade counter from Tangle Wire, then taps his permanence through Tangle Wire. He draws and casts his commander, Slicer, High Speed Antagonist. Drake moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Slicer. Ashani takes it, and at the end of combat, Drake converts Slicer into Slicer, Hired Muscle. All set to begin some mayhem, Drake passes to Alex. During Alex's upkeep, Slicer and Tangle Wire trigger. Alex taps his permanence through Tangle Wire, then gains control of Slicer. Alex draws and moves straight to combat. He attacks Minsk and Boo with Slicer. Minsk and Boo dies, and all through, Alex passes. At the end of Alex's turn, Drake regains control of Slicer. During Cal's upkeep, Slicer and Tangle Wire trigger. Cal taps his permanence through Tangle Wire, then gains control of Slicer. Cal draws and casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Cal creates seven treasures. He casts Natural Order, sacrificing Arbor Elf as an additional cost. He fetches up a Teamer Sabertooth onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Alex with Slicer. Alex takes it, and Cal ends his turn. At the end of Cal's turn, Drake regains control of Slicer. During Ashani's upkeep, Mana Crypt, Slicer, and Tangle Wire all trigger. He taps his permanence through Tangle Wire, gains control of Slicer, then, once again, loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws for turn and casts Blind Obedience. He activates Shorkai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a 1-1 pilot. Ashani moves to combat and attacks Alex with Slicer. Alex takes it, and Ashani passes. At the end of Ashani's turn, Drake regains control of Slicer. During Drake's upkeep, he removes a fade counter from Tangle Wire, then taps Tangle Wire to itself. He draws and moves straight to combat. He attacks Cal with Slicer. Cal takes it, and Drake passes the turn. During Alex's upkeep, Slicer and Tangle Wire trigger. Alex taps his permanence through Tangle Wire, then gains control of Slicer. Alex draws, moves to combat, and attacks Cal with Slicer. Cal takes it, and Alex passes. At the end of Alex's turn, Drake regains control of Slicer. During Cal's upkeep, Slicer and Tangle Wire trigger. Cal taps his permanence through Tangle Wire, and then gains control of Slicer. Cal draws and plays a mountain. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Slicer. Ashani blocks with a pilot and the pilot dies. Cal passes and Drake regains control of Slicer. During Ashani's upkeep, Mana Crypt, Slicer, and Tangle Wire all trigger. Ashani taps his permanence through Tangle Wire, gains control of Slicer, and again loses his Mana Crypt roll, taking three damage. He draws and activates Shorkai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. He plays a Sea of Clouds for turn. He activates Skull Clamp, targeting Slicer. In response, Drake activates Access Tunnel, targeting Slicer, making it unblockable this turn. Then Skull Clamp equips to Slicer, and Ashani moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Slicer. Cal takes it, and Ashani ends his turn. At the end of Ashani's turn, Drake regains control of Slicer. During his upkeep, Drake removes the last counter from Tangle Wire. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Alex with Slicer. Before damage, Alex casts Snapback for its alternate cost, exiling a blue card, bouncing Slicer. In his second main phase, Drake casts Torp Roar, much to Cal's chagrin. With a Transformer finally off the board, Drake passes to Alex. Alex draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts a Time Twister. In response, Drake channels Twin Shot Sniper, killing Ashani's pilot. With Time Twister still in the stack, Ashani channels Ottawara, Soaring City, bouncing Cal's boo. Time Twister resolves, and everyone shuffles their hands and graveyards into their library, with Drake sending Slicer to the command zone, and draws a fresh seven. All through, Alex ends his turn. Cal draws and plays a Spire Garden. He taps into our garden to cast Mana Morphos. He adds two mana and draws a card. He recasts his commander, Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. It enters, Cal creates a Boo, into play tap through Blind Obedience. Cal activates Minsk's first ability, targeting Boo, giving it three counters. Finished up, Cal passes. During his upkeep, Ashani finally wins his Mana Crypt roll, much to his surprise and delight. He draws and activates Shorkai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. He casts a Felwar Stone. He casts a Talisman of Progress. He casts a Lotus Petal. All through, Ashani ends his turn. During his upkeep, Drake sacrifices Tangle Wire. He draws and plays a Shatter Skull, the Hammer Pass, into play untapped, paying three life. He casts a Welding Jar. He casts a Treasonous Ogre. He pays 18 life to add six red. He casts his commander, Slicer Hired Muscle, which enters tap due to blind obedience. Drake ships the turn to Alex. During Alex's upkeep, he gains control of Slicer. He draws and plays a Tropical Island. He casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero, entering tapped. He casts an Arcane Signet, which also enters tapped. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with Slicer. Cal blocks with Dockside, and Dockside dies. Alex ends his turn, and Drake regains control of Slicer. During Cal's upkeep, he gains control of Slicer. He draws and plays a Forest. He activates Minsk's first ability, giving Boo three more counters. He casts Lana or Elves, but is reminded of the Chalice of the Void onto the battlefield, and Elves is countered. Cal moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Slicer. Ashani blocks with the pilot, and the pilot dies. 
Cal passes, and Drake regains control of Slicer. During Nishani's upkeep, Mana Crypt and Slicer trigger. Drake doesn't have a Shani gain control of Slicer, and it converts to Slicer, high speed antagonist. Then Ashani wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and activates Shorkai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. He plays an Atacar Wastes for turn. He casts Dramatic Reversal, tapping his Talisman to extort it through Blind Obedience. Reversal resolves, and Ashani attaps his non-land permanence. Ashani activates Shorkai again, drawing two, discarding one, and creating another pilot. He taps all of his lands and Mana Rocks. He casts a Mox Opal. He casts a Time Spiral, extorting it through Blind Obedience. Time Spiral resolves, everyone once again shuffles their hands and graveyards into their libraries, draw seven, and Ashani untaps six lands. He attempts to equip Skull Clamps to one of his pilots. In response, Drake casts Pyrokinesis for its alternate cost, exiling a red card, targeting the pilot for one, and Cal's Teamer Sabertooth for three. It resolves, the pilot and Sabertooth die, and the equip ability fizzles. Next, showing a real appetite for brains, Ashani equips Skull Clamp to the remaining pilot. It resolves, the pilot dies, and Ashani draws two cards. He casts a Rhystic Study, paying the extort cost. After a busy turn, Ashani passes, discarding to hand size. Drake draws and plays a mountain. He casts Jessica's Will, targeting an Ashani. Rhystic triggers and Ashani draws. In response, Ashani casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, countering Jessica's Will. Drake moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Slicer. Ashani takes it, Slicer triggers, converting it into Slicer, Hired Muscle. In a second main phase, Drake casts Whisper Silk Cloak. Rhystic triggers and Ashani draws. Drake casts Mana Crypt. Rhystic triggers and Ashani draws again. Mana Crypt enters tapped and Drake activates Treason Stoker twice, paying 6 life and adding 2 red. He equips Cloak to Slicer. Finished up, Drake ends his turn. During Alex's upkeep, he gains control of Slicer. He draws and plays a Morphic Pool. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Slicer. Ashani takes it and in his second main phase, Alex casts Diabolic Intent, sacrificing Thrasios as an additional cost. Rhystic triggers and Ashani draws. It resolves and Alex fetches up a card into his hand. He casts Culling Ritual. Rhystic triggers and Ashani draws again. In response, Cal sacrifices his treasures, Ashani taps his Mox Opal for blue, and Drake sacrifices his Welding Jar, regenerating his Chalice of the Void. Then Culling Ritual resolves, destroying all the wee tiny non-land permanents, and Alex adds 6 green and 6 black. Alex casts Court of Calling where X equals 3. Rhystic triggers and Ashani draws. Court resolves and Alex fetches up a Phantasmal Image onto the battlefield. It enters as a copy of Slicer. The Legend Rule takes effect and the original Slicer is put into the graveyard as a state-based effect and Drake chooses to put Slicer into the command zone. Alex attempts to move through phases and Ashani uses his floating mana to delve away some of his graveyard to help cast Dig Through Time. He looks at the top 7, puts 2 into his hand, and bottoms the rest. All through, Alex passes to Cal. During Cal's upkeep, Minsk and Slicer trigger. Alex gains control of Alex's Phantasmal Slicer and then Cal creates a tapped 1-1 one -one Boo. Cal draws and activates Minsk's first ability, giving Boo three 1-1 one -one counters. He casts Mox Diamond, paying for Rhystic. It enters and Cal discards Stomping Ground. He casts Birds of Paradise. Rhystic triggers, Cal pays, and once again, realizes too late that Chalice of the Void is still on the battlefield and hangs his head in shame. With his head still down, Birds is countered, and then he moves to combat. He attacks Ashani with a Phantasmal Slicer. Ashani takes it, Cal ends his turn, and Alex regains control of his Slicer. During Ashani's upkeep, he gains control of Slicer. He draws and plays an Urza Saga, getting its first counter. He casts a Grim Monolith. He tasks Monolith and activates Shorkai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. He casts an Isochron Scepter. It resolves, and Ashani imprints Dramatic Reversal. He activates Scepter, casting Reversal, and untapping both Monolith and Shorkai. Ashani presents a loop of tapping Monolith for mana and then using Scepter to untap Monolith, generating infinite colorless mana. He then repeats the loop and uses his infinite mana to repeatedly use Shorkai's ability, drawing his deck. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding City of Brass. He casts Savine's Reclamation, targeting Blind Obedience. Ashani then demonstrates the loop again, except now every cast of Dramatic Reversal, he extorts it through Blind Obedience. He drains the table over and over, until they are dead, and Ashani wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great game. Slicer has been making the rounds for quite a number of months now and we really wanted to see how it would do at our table. In true fashion, it crippled opponents enough to let someone else steal a victory. This deck is a ton of fun, but many of its games turn out this way. Congrats to Ashani on his win. He was able to weather the storm put forth by his opponents as well as his own mana crypt. He utilizes Commander's ability to buy time and accumulate resources to eventually take over the game. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Slicer. Hire- I'm just kidding, no way that card's the most valuable. Tonight's most valuable card goes to Shorakai, Genesis Engine. Both card advantage engine and defense mechanism, the pilot tokens created by Shorakai were the difference between Ashani being knocked out early and his eventual victory. Well that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.